The Bank of Canada announced a widely expected 25 basis point rate hike, bringing its benchmark lending rate to half a percent. This is the first time that the bank has hiked since it was forced to slash interest rates to emergency levels at the start of the pandemic. It is the smallest move higher, but a sure sign that it's time to start saying goodbye to rock bottom interest rates. Here's what it means for you and your household. Prices at the pumps, prices at the grocery store, and just about everywhere else too are climbing, and this probably isn't news to you or your pocketbook. Today, the Bank of Canada has taken a first step in doing something about it. Here's what this means for a $700,000 home, which is the average home price in Canada, with a typical five-year variable rate mortgage. The bank's rate hike works out to an extra $73 a month, nearly $900 a year. Now, right now, there's still a difference between variable and fixed rate mortgages. Typical variable rate mortgages are at a discount to fixed with a variable rate at 1.2% and fixed around 2.6% and climbing. So mortgage brokers at lowestrates.ca say it isn't time to switch from variable to fixed yet. Wait for a few more hikes. Remax expects this hike and ones in the near future to have a temporary calming effect on the housing market. It's going to take some froth out of the market. Uh, give people a little bit of calm, and um, it, it could actually have a, a positive long-term effect because what we're seeing or what we have seen over the last several months uh, is not sustainable. The bank says the war in Ukraine is a major new source of uncertainty. It's already had an inflationary ripple effect, most notably at the pumps. And if the conflict continues into April, it could start to take a bite out of growth. The question is, how long will it last? When you look through many of uh, you know, the last uh, 30, 40 years, uh, you tend to get shorter durations, which would suggest it won't impede their rate path. However, this is really a historic moment and we you know, can't predict the duration. So even though the economy is in many ways back to pre-pandemic levels, this uncertainty may force the Bank of Canada to hold rates lower for longer. Its next interest rate announcement is in six weeks. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.